Dine and I are heading up the lower slopes of Mount Bosworth. There are no paths, so we make our own way up. We started off on track, but little did we know we would end up well off route, scrambling up uncertain cliffs. A short time after starting out, we are already scrambling. We were supposed to cross two gullies, but unknowingly, we didn't ascend high enough and missed the second gully. This put us on the wrong course and our plans fell to pieces as we headed into unknown terrain. Below our Ross Lake and Sink Lake, and you can see Highway 1 where we parked our car. Unaware we are off course, we actually traverse below the summit. We realized too late that we were well off course and became committed to climbing this steep, narrow gully. Climbing back down was not an option I wanted to consider. We needed to reach the summit so we could take the safer and normal route down. After a long climb, we came out of this gully to the base of a black cliff bend. After scrambling up them, we passed the snow corners to arrive on a scree slope. Of course, we didn't have the benefit of this view, and if we had, we certainly wouldn't have attempted it. After some nerve-wracking route finding and scrambling, are we ever happy to get onto safe, level ground? We are now west of the summit. The scree slope that we came to led to a cliff bend. At first, I thought the cliffs would stop us. I went ahead to scout out a route. Fortunately, a chimney allowed us to climb down the cliffs and continue to the summit. Dinah couldn't open the summit register, so I had to loosen the cap for her. <laughs> After our stay on the summit, we started back down. We had no interest in using our ascent route. The normal route is a cakewalk in comparison, and we were happy with that. A train whistle reminds us that we are not far from the highway. <laughs> 